One of the largest ships ever built for the Royal Australian Navy is docked at Outer Harbour for the next few days. Our cameras flying onto the HMAS Adelaide for a look and the public will get its chance at an open day this weekend. On approach to the Navy's largest vessel. A careful landing and welcome aboard the HMAS Adelaide as it cruises into its namesake city. We are massively proud uh, of our links to the community. Uh, the city of Adelaide and South Australia in general. It's a city in itself. This is the view of our Navy helicopter landing from the ship's 230 metre long flight deck. The Navy calls it an amphibious assault ship. Commissioned in 2015, it weighs more than 27,000 tonnes and can travel up to 6,000 kilometres at a time. It can carry dozens of aircraft and boats above deck and below and is home to hundreds of Defence Force personnel. Routinely I run around with 450, that's Navy, Army and Air Force, so it's, it is a really joint capability that we have here. That's a lot, but it's only a fraction of its potential 1,500 person capacity. Yeah, it gets a bit full on at times. Um, it's a lot of fun, it pushes your limits. And your buttons. There are plenty of those inside the ship's bridge. This smaller control room is the Flyco, where aircraft are coordinated from. So it's kind of like uh, conducting air traffic control uh, at a, a floating airfield that can move around the world. The chefs can churn out up to 6,000 meals per day. The vessel even has a hospital for treating sick or wounded personnel should they enter combat. We have a resus capability, um, operating theatre, wards, pharmacy. The HMAS Adelaide is here to collect army vehicles which will be used in training exercises in Queensland. But while docked at Outer Harbour, it's also having an open day this Sunday. This is uh, one of those opportunities where people can come down and actually see the Navy around them does exist. Uh, it's not one of those ports the ships get to come into very often. Edward Godfrey, Nine News.